What is up everyone? Today we're talking about Umpqua Hot Springs, a place that's truly special to Abby and I here at Rooted in Roaming. We've been to Umpqua Hot Springs a good amount of times over the years and each time we learn a little bit more and we've built up some tips and tricks that help us make the experience always positive and we usually avoid the crowds and we camp nearby. We also see some of the other cool things to see in the area and that has just made the experience so much fun each time that we go. So we're gonna share our tips and tricks with you so that you can make the most of your time during your visit. Umpqua is a truly magical hot springs that we're so lucky to have here in Oregon. There are several pools that are good soaking temperature. They're cascading down this rocky hillside into the river below. And it's such a beautiful setting. You're surrounded by these gorgeous trees in the Umpqua National Forest. And the river down below at this valley is so beautiful too. Combine all that picturesque setting with an optimal water temperature, it's no surprise that Umpqua Hot Springs is one of the most popular hot springs in all of Oregon, and perhaps our favorite one. Before we go any farther guys, it's so important that we preserve this area and leave no trace when we're there. We've seen so much trash around there, we always do our part to pick it up. We actually bring a trash bag that put other people's trash in as well as our own. We're just doing our part to help keep this place clean. It's so important that we preserve it for future visitors. There have been cases where hot springs are closed down because they're just you know overused and trashy but if we all do our part we can definitely keep that open and make it a nice pleasant soak whenever you're going to visit. Umpqua Hot Springs like I said are located in the Umpqua National Forest which is so beautiful and it's accessible via Highway 138. The springs are about 2 hours and 15 minutes from Bend, 4 hours from Portland and about 2.5 hours from Eugene. So the way you get to Umpqua Hot Springs, you can just type that into your GPS and you should be fine most of the time. We have some helpful maps and directions on our website article that you can go check out. It is important to note that in the summer you can drive within 0.25 miles or so of the actual hot springs. So you drive about two miles on a dirt road and you can park at the trailhead really close to the hot springs. But in the winter you actually have to park two miles away from the hot springs because that dirt road is actually closed. So this does two things, it makes it hard to access the hot springs but it also limits the crowds which is sort of a double-edged sword because you definitely don't want it to be crowded when you go and that's sort of the reason we always go in the winter it's also just nicer to soak in a hot spring when the temperatures are cooler outside you do need a day use pass when you get there you can buy that it's five dollars so you can bring some cash or you can use an annual northwest forest pass so as i've mentioned several times one of the main drawbacks of Uncle hot springs can be the crowds but if you go at an uncrowded time, you have placed mostly yourself, maybe a few other people there. It makes the experience so nice. So we really prioritize these less crowded times. So the best time to be the crowds when you visit is during the winter on a weekday. Of course, maybe that's inconvenient for some people, but we usually take a day off of work to prioritize visiting this hot spring on a weekday. Of course, if you are visiting in the winter, you want to check road conditions. Usually when we go, it's not actually snowing, but there is snow on the ground. You can try to go really early in the morning to get a better chance of less people being there. We would not recommend going Saturday late at night as we have seen it get a little rowdy and maybe Friday too. So we always go like Sunday early or in the middle of the day or on a Monday or another weekday, you know, earlier in the middle of the day. Weekdays at night are probably fine, but, but we have seen people partying there, which is not what we're into when we're looking to, you know, have a relaxing soak. There is a bathroom at the trailhead that you can park at in the summer, which is about a quarter mile away from the hot springs, so we definitely recommend going there if you need to use the restroom. There's also trash cans near there, so that's where you're gonna throw away all your trash and not leave it out on the trail or nearby the hot springs. So Uncle Hot Springs does have some naked people there. It's not a big deal. It's okay to be naked at a hot spring. It's actually really fun. So definitely recommend trying that out, experiencing that freedom, and just expect people to be naked there. If there's a lot of families and it's really crowded and uh, not many people are naked, then you know we'll keep our suits on, just sort of reading the vibe. But there definitely can be nudity when you get there. One thing that we always enjoy when we visit Uncle Hot Springs is camping at Tokoti Lake Campground. It's just a few minutes drive from the hot springs themselves. And it always makes the experience so nice because we get a night out there. There's usually nobody there in the winter. I mean, we usually see one or two other groups apart from ourselves when we're camping there. 
and it's a beautiful campground, totally forested, right along the Angkor River there, and it's just so beautiful. Another thing we love to do in that area is check out Tokati Falls. We usually go there every time we visit. It's such an impressive waterfall. It's really a quintessential Oregon Cascades waterfall. The flow is very consistent because there's actually a dam upriver, I believe. It's so pretty to see the water coming down upstream of the waterfall and you're actually hiking alongside that and then you get to the actual viewpoint of the waterfall and it's just a blast to go see. The hike itself is about 0.4 miles one way so it's really not that far. It makes it really easy and accessible to pop in. Also a lot of the trail is developed with stairs or walkways which makes it a lot easier. Well I hope you enjoyed this guide to visiting Angkor Hot Springs. It's definitely worth a visit. We really recommend you go check it out for yourself. Just be aware of the crowds. It does get crowded on summer weekends especially and winter is definitely the time to go. We recommend camping nearby and checking out Toka T Falls. There's a ton of other cool waterfalls in the area along Highway 138 so don't pass up those if they're on your way. If you found this video helpful, subscribe if you want to see more content about adventuring in the Pacific Northwest. We're doing a combination of vlog and guide content so stick around if you want to check that out.